Hey guys, Hackersploit here. Uh, welcome to another episode of CyberTalk. Uh, in this episode, uh, I'm going to be talking about the CEH certification, whether or not it's worth it, and uh, you know, a, a slew of other questions that I've been getting regarding this certification. So the, the main reason that actually prompted me to make this episode is the fact that I get a lot of questions asking me, is the CH worth it? And of course, that's a very vague question and that's why I'm making this video. But second of all, I've been seeing a lot of hate comments, you know, from various people on various platforms regarding this certification and the fact that it doesn't have any real market value and it can't really get you a job. So uh, here's the thing, right? First of all, a certification on its own, I don't think shouldn't be uh, should not be able to get you a job. Now they are primarily set out to to offer uh, a specialized track and to prove that you are specialized in performing a certain thing or a certain task. And uh, anything outside of that is open to interpretation regarding your actual skill set. And the reason for this is because anyone can get a certification, right? So what differentiates you from the other person? if you have the same certifications. So that should be your primary question that you should be asking yourself. And there's been a huge change in uh, or a shift in the way people look at certifications over the last few years. And it's really it's really starting to get on my nerves. And, and that is people look at certifications as a mean of uh, as a means of getting a job. Now, I totally understand someone changing career and asking me, how can this certification allow me to transition over? And for that, I totally understand. But someone asking me what type of a salary or a wage I can get, you know, from taking a certain certification is really something that I can't answer. Right. And I'm sure if you go and ask any anyone else, they, 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 it's too it's too much of a shallow question to, to actually bring anything significant into play. So CEH over the last three years, I think, has been getting a very bad rep in regards to its actual value and uh, the, the information that it contains. Now, this is not this is not my personal opinion. I'll give you that in a second. But a lot of people have been bashing on it. And I think it's where, where a lot of things this bashing is coming from is a poor understanding of what this certification is. Now, let me clarify this one last time, hopefully ever on this channel. CEH right over here, not the practical CEH is not a pen testing certification. It has very little to do with actual pen testing. As a result, if you are a penetration tester and you're looking for something that will teach you practical penetration testing, I would not recommend it. And then people say, well, why do you recommend it if you are in cybersecurity in general? And their web page explains this very clearly. So this is the certification and this is the description, right? So. A certified ethical hacker is a skilled professional who understands how to look for weaknesses and vulnerabilities in target systems and use the same knowledge and tools as a malicious hacker. That's very vague, but in a lawful and legitimate manner to assess the security posture of a target system. The CH credential certifies individuals in the specific network security discipline of ethical hacking from a vendor neutral perspective. Now look at the purpose here. They clearly define it. Establish and govern min and govern minimum standards for uh, credentialing professional information security specialists in ethical hacking measures. Very important. Uh, inform the public that the credential individuals meet or exceed the minimum standards. Reinforce ethical hacking as a unique and self-regulating profession. Now, this is this. Uh, they've actually done a very good job at summarizing what this certification is. This certification is not about pen testing. This certification essentially is giving you an introduction into security and ensuring that you, as someone who is getting into cybersecurity or pen testing, is familiar with terminology and you're familiar with the logistics involved in pen testing and cybersecurity in general. Right. So many people say, oh, it's a it's a multiple choice question. It's uh, it, it really isn't uh, it really isn't. Uh, hard or challenging or anything like that. And I, I don't know whether you actually read the description, but that's not what they're after. This is an introductory cybersecurity certification, similar to Security Plus, but a little bit uh, differently oriented in regards to what they cover and the extent they cover. Uh, this will give you an introduction into pen testing and cybersecurity in general. It covers various aspects of the pen testing methodology, as uh, you know, from reconnaissance to exploitation, post-exploitation, 
and then it also covers a whole range of terminology that is very important if you are going to have a good or solid foundation in cybersecurity. So that's the main reason I recommend absolute beginners to this certification, not for the certificate, but for this information right here. I cannot tell you how many students have actually ignored my advice and gone immediately to do the OSCP. And this is the first time they're using Nmap or Metasploit and they find that so difficult and they wonder, well, I thought this was going to be, you know, exciting and what's all of this stuff I needed to learn before. And I told them, well, you, you should have taken this certification, not because of the certificate, but because of the knowledge that it will give you, the knowledge that you require, the prerequisites that you will require to do anything significant in this industry. Right. And many people take really, really take that uh, to, to be a joke or something that everyone just says. But having a good foundation in cybersecurity is very important. That's why I always recommend CH or Security Plus CompTIA, uh, from CompTIA and then networking. Now, you can self-learn networking. You can, tell, you can take various Network Plus uh, courses and stuff like that. And you really don't need to get the certification. The same thing for the Certified Ethical Hacker certification. It's all about what you're learning. Right now, with this certification, of course, it can get you a job. I mean, it is used by HR and has been used in the past, not to, to, to actually see or to, to prove that you are a, you're a pen tester, but it proves, you know, essential terminology and the lingo of the business. Right. Uh, for example, CH covers important aspects like pen testing methodologies, uh, compliance standards, things that people who are absolutely new to cybersecurity don't know about and should know about before they start uh, targeting uh, you know real world networks and and starting to to play around with company resources and assets they have no idea of the fundamentals that make up a, a pen testing methodology what makes a good pen test the various compliance standards how to perform uh, you know uh, risk modeling or threat modeling sorry how to perform risk assessment based on a vulnerability scan that you performed so this is all new to them. And then they go and do the OSCP, for example, and I'm not bashing on the OSCP. And then they, they wonder why it's so difficult. They, ha they don't know about TC TCP IP. They don't know what a uh, TCP uh, connect scan is. They don't know what a stealth scan is, how it works, what a three way a TCP three way handshake is. And then they're absolutely confused. And I told them, please take the foundation seriously, because if you don't do that, it's really going to come back and bite you later on. You, you might even pass the OSCP, uh, be, you know, because of resilience and stuff like that. But I'm not saying take the CH. I'm saying the information it covers is very important uh, uh, to, to build a stable foundation. Now, with that being said, uh, you, you don't need to actually take the exam to prove anything to anyone. You can simply just go through the material, which is very good material. And the reason it's a, a multiple uh, choice uh, test is for that very it's essentially testing your your understanding of certain scenarios in regards to pen testing uh ethical hacking vulnerability assessments and stuff like that so uh, again as i said i can't tell you the amount of times i've 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 actually met someone who has the oscp and you know they they're, they're a pen tester you know, you know self-proclaimed and uh, they come you know for an interview and uh, you ask them uh, various things about a methodology or about vulnerability scanning and uh, you know uh, how, how do we start implementing our um, our security posture how do we analyze our security posture for an application and they don't know they don't know they only know about the tools of the trade and how to uh, hack various vulnerable uh, operating systems and uh, so i'm not bashing on oscp no let, let no one take that in a wrong context but i feel if you are an absolute beginner to cybersecurity or in cybersecurity, you need a strong foundation. This certification or this training material will give you that. I can guarantee you that. Uh, and that's why many HR people recognize it. Many people are saying, oh, they, they don't recognize it anymore. Trust me, if you have it in addition to pen testing certifications and real professional pen test certifications from SANS or the GPEN certification, it's not going to be a, a disadvantage, as people say, right? Uh, and again, you can do the training without getting the certification. I don't know about the other uh, certifications. All I'm talking about is their CH and also their practical, which I haven't reviewed. So I haven't gone, uh, I haven't actually taken a look at that personally. But when I was doing my CH, and this was a long time ago, 
uh, a few years back and uh, I think it was version 6 or version 7 if I'm not wrong so yeah it's it's quite now I believe they are version 10 and I, I think I had to actually renew it but um, I did a long time ago and all I was thinking of that whole time was wow you know I'm gonna learn all of this stuff and it, it wasn't like an ultimate goal like after I get CH I'm gonna be you know, a serious pen test no it was all about the learning process right and I wasn't even thinking about I didn't even know that the certification is something that you can actually use to get a job or is is uh, so, so sort of like a uh, a tool that a HR will, will use or a requirement or anything like that it was just so exciting to actually touch something that you know will, will actually be used in the real world or it's so something that i can actually interface with and uh and have a, a very professional connection too so um for all of the people who are actually hating on the certification and telling many people to ignore it even you know fresh beginners people switching careers if you don't like it for various reasons and you think it's simple that's fine but that's your opinion right you you're not in the shoes of someone who's just changed his or her career you're not in the shoes of, of a student who does not know about a pen testing methodology, does not know how to use Nmap, does not know how to use Metasploit, does not know about uh, TCP or the TCP IP stack, does not know about malware, does not know about anything regarding cybersecurity. And you tell them, you know what, just ignore that and uh, you can go ahead and take the, the real pen testing certifications or use a, 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 take another certification altogether. That I believe is a bit ignorant and I want that to stop. So this is this is the conclusion of this video, right? If you want to take it because you want to further your knowledge, go ahead and take it. Let no one else tell you what's right for you. You know where your, your knowledge is, is lacking. You know where you need to improve. You know what you don't know. And if this gives you what you don't know at a basic level, go ahead and do it. If you are an experienced pen tester, you know, and you have been pen testing since before this certification came out, it might not make sense to you, right? And I totally understand that. Uh, and lastly, CEH is not a pen testing certification. They cover aspects of pen testing. It is looked upon as an introductory cybersecurity certification, right? So there we are. You can actually, I'll just repeat it one more time for you. Establish and govern minimum, minimum, standards for credentialing professional information security specialists in ethical hacking measures. They state it so clearly that I, whenever someone comes and tells me that CH is a pen testing certification and, and it's very easy and it shouldn't exist because it doesn't give them any, any, anything useful in regards to pen testing and the OSCP covers you know, actual pen testing, I just point them to this and I tell them, you're, get, you're going into this with the wrong mindset. If, this, if you want to learn extreme hacking, as they would call it, uh, then definitely skip this, but don't come to me and tell me, hey, what, what, uh, what, what, what exactly is a uh, is a security policy? How do you create a security policy? Oh my God, what is a CVE? You know, all all of that stuff. So this will give you all of that lingo. This will uh, this will uh, outline and explain critical and fundamental terminology that will then build upon all the other things you do after you get it, or depending on whether or not you're interested in getting it. The information is the most important. So that's all I wanted to make this video about. This is not a rant. I just wanted to clarify that once and for all, for anyone who's taking it, do not be discouraged by people telling you it's not worth it or it's not going to get you a salary or a job. Take it because you're interested in learning. You're interested in bettering your knowledge and your understanding of the industry you're getting into. Please understand that this is your career. It's your it's in your hands. And the opinions of others should never be or should, should, never, uh, should, should never actually triumph over yours. Ensure that you come to your own conclusions in regards to your own decisions, right? And as I said, if you feel it's not going to be useful for you, don't take it. I'm not imposing this. I'm simply clarifying this for people who actually don't understand that a certificate has a description sorry about that and it actually has outcomes that you should actually be able to understand and based on that you then make a decision right um, so that's all I'm going to say uh, I'm not sure about the practical one and the other certifications they actually have a pen testing certification here uh, I'll hopefully one day review it uh, my job you know is not to, to actually take them and then go and try and look for a job and say hey you know I have CH you should give me a job or is this worth anything no 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 I don't care about that I'm more interested in making sure that 
the students, the audience of this channel can make decisions, are extremely familiar with the fundamentals, because if you skip over the fundamentals, I can almost guarantee that you'll muck up later on in some way or form. So take it very seriously if you are looking to make this or you are, or you are looking to actually become a professional in this industry. Uh, and yeah, that's those, those are my thoughts. I would like to hear what you guys think. Uh, some of you who are more experienced. I would like to hear what you think. This is, you know, a personal opinion, something that's been, really been on my shoulders of, of late and something I've been seeing online. And it's it's really been given a very, very negative, um, negative light in that it's seen as sort of inferior and nowhere does it state to be superior or to offer you anything that you know is tangible in regards to you going and performing a pen test tomorrow right it explains this clearly and i'll post this page in the description section so that before you actually bash any certification or anything rather please ensure you have your facts correct this is something that's so fundamental especially in today's world where information is rampant it's uh, the, the transfer of information is you know widespread and uh, because of that there's a lot of misinformation so the first thing you should do and this is for the, you should this advice is for your life and uh, uh, this this was actually a quote from Bertrand Russell and that was ensure that you get the facts right the facts are the most important things when dealing with anything of significance if you overlook the facts and go into ideology, you can be assured that you're going to make wrong decisions because it's, it's not based on reality. So this is a concrete fact here and I've actually backed it up and they have backed it up and uh, you know, it's there for anyone to see. They do not claim to be anything more than what they actually post on this webpage. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to be addressing the questions I get in videos like this. Hopefully they can, uh, many of you who actually have this question, can actually have an answer and the answer is come to your own conclusion look at where you you need to improve your knowledge and your skills if you're finding pen testing difficult and you don't understand terminology then it really is pointing towards the fact that you don't have a good foundation in this and trust me there is a real foundation because uh, being able to write a pen testing report before you actually understand the important information you'd be you should be putting in it is uh, very very important and uh, that's where I'll end the video. So let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to hear that. And uh, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. And I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Peace, guys.